Oh, here it is. Da trailer. Is it a trailer? Yeah. Is it a clip? No, well, same thing, isn't it? Okay. That's a clip. Oh, she. It's like the fantasy you always have as a kid. Everywhere is an amazing shot, an amazing character. It's about the humanity of it, which <laughs> just makes the whole thing try. so real. It's cool they've made it look just like a new hope. Mm. Oh, we had to be in Well, your heart's beating, and you're actually in this situation. You get something Whoa. very genuine Practical that effects. you couldn't have planned. You'll actually compose shots that if we were on a green screen set, you just wouldn't have known were available. Oh man, this looks so good. Pressure's so high. Like we're making a film that's right. That's um, like my favourite movie of all time. But then if you're too respectful off. of it, that's oh, again it? Yeah. new or different. It's take a oh risk. Oh god. Then what are you bringing to the table? It's a fair point, mate. Yep, very fair point. Don't forget your lunchbox. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. It's lunchtime. <laughs> Break. It's got a hard drive. Cool. Looks fucking badass. This looks so good. Oh, this looks so good on the beach as well. I mean, this is really where did, film crew did, like this did really comes into their own. Oh, my God. This looks so good. When you were four years old. Grew up with Star Wars figures. It's a bit like just being that kid again. You're sort of going like, ah, ah, ah. I like him. Yeah. It's good. It's weird being on the beach, isn't it? Yeah. Got that 99. <laughs> cool. Look at that person who expressed the button. Literally just blowing stuff up. May the force be with us. Sick. And you. Nice. I'm well impressed with that. That looks so good. Oh, yeah. So that trailer was absolutely sick. I absolutely loved it. So we've got some really, really cool information that has come out of the panel at Star Wars Celebration. So we've learned that Diego Luna will be the owner of Alan Judic's role, the droid K2SO. And it turns out that it's a droid that has been reset back to the factory settings, but it's not working how it should. And it turns out that Alan Judic said that it's going to be a kind of a shit my dad says <laughs> role for the actual droid who really says stuff that he shouldn't. Also, we've learned that Riz Ahmed's Bodhi character, well, a lot of people are wondering what that Imperial patch is about. Well, it turns out that he actually works for the Empire, but like he said, a lot of people work for a lot of organisations that they don't actually agree with. So he's kind of like a turncoat or a double agent kind of thing, and he's turned over to the good side. So we get some very cool news that Scarif is the new planet the Paradise Planet, where the seemingly the big action setting with all the walkers, etc., is going to take place. Possibly where the plans are at the moment. And this is going to be very interesting. From the little bits at the Star Wars Celebration, we saw that, that well, this is a secret military installation. So, yeah, a lot of shit's going to go down there. We're also getting a brand new planet as well, named Jetta, which is known for, throughout the universe, as a pilgrimage for people throughout the universe, for Jedis, etc. Although, it was hinted that there aren't no Jedis, supposedly, in this era. And Donnie Yen's character is where we get to meet him on Jetta, which is going to be pretty cool. He's a blind, kind of, a, seemingly a Jedi. He 
feels with his heart and feels everything around him, so I'm guessing that's force sensitive. But to me, that does seem it. We're also getting Darth Vader in there with James L. Jones providing voice is for that as well. There was also a secret trailer shown to the audience, so once that drops somewhere, I will show you that and discuss that. So if you enjoyed that video, please do drop a like and a subscribe. I'll be back soon. Goodbye.